So Graham Stefan thinks he's the cheapest millionaire. Let's see what Graham said. You know, I woke up this morning and I still thought that I held the title as the world's cheapest millionaire. I like Graham and I have to give him credit because he really manages his money well. But is he cheaper than me? Nah, I don't think so. And if you don't know who Graham Stefan is, I put a link in the description below and you really should go check him out. I too am a cheap millionaire, but I'm in a completely different category than Graham. Graham is living in LA on a very low cost, cheap lifestyle. Meanwhile, I'm a nomad traveling the world and five years ago, I sold off everything I own and I've been traveling full time ever since. So Graham, let's battle it out for cheapest millionaire. Graham Stefan versus Jerry Romine for the title of cheapest millionaire. So Graham Stefan thinks he's the cheapest millionaire. Let's see what Graham said. I just bought, I just bought, I just bought the $35,000 Tesla Model 3. So next we got the car payment. Now when I bought the car, I financed 100% of it. And my payment works out to be $632 a month. That works out to be $21 a day. As a nomad traveling the world, I don't own a car, but when I need one, I rent one. And that's normally about $10 a day. But sometimes I don't need a car at all, so I save even more money. $119 a day to own. Now, thankfully, like I said, it does have two units, which means that I can rent out the other unit, and I am just about to re-rent the other unit for $2,700 a month. That brings my total out-of-pocket cost to live here at $29 a day. However, by me actually making the mortgage payment every single month, I am paying down the loan balance by an additional $33 a day. Meaning that once you actually count home equity, it's like I'm getting paid $4 every single day just to get to live here and make videos in my garage. For housing, Graham owns a duplex and he's running out one side, which is really smart. And Graham's saying he actually gets paid total $4 per day to live in the duplex. I don't think that's quite accurate because it doesn't take into account vacancies and some of the repair and rehab expenses you have with, t with tenants, but still, it's, it's pretty close, so I'm gonna give it to him and props up to him for saving money on the housing costs. By comparison, I travel the world full time and I spent the last months in Georgia, Armenia, Turkey, Greece, Morocco, Bulgaria, and Italy. And I budget $30 per day on my housing uh, expenses, plus my housing expenses include all of my utilities, internet, everything. Right now, I'm living in Sofia, Bulgaria in a one bedroom, two bath apartment. Let me show you what it looks like. Let me walk you through my Airbnb, which is $25.55 per day. Not doing this as a humble brag, but I just wanna show you what you can actually get for your money whenever you're traveling the world in some of these different places. And this is a one bedroom, two bath place. We've got one more bathroom through those doors there at the entryway. Half bathroom here. Bedroom and one more bathroom. And I mean, for $25.55, it's a really nice place. Everything I own fits in the one large suitcase, the carry-on luggage, and the backpack. Now, sure, Graham's got some really cool stuff with a dinosaur head, but I can't have those sort of luxuries because they simply won't fit in my gear. And finally, $85 a month for my phone bill, which works out to be $2.88 a day. That means I spend on average of $67.15 in a given week throughout my utilities. So Graham's utility bills are $67.15 per week. By comparison, my only utility bill is roughly $1 a day for my Google Fi phone service. And here's a quick plug for Google Fi. Man, if you're traveling like I am a nomad, they are absolutely awesome and it's the best way to go. Roughly, it costs me about $25 a month, and I mean, I've got data when I need it, I've got web, everything, the way to go. Afterwards, my girlfriend bought some groceries and decided to make tacos for dinner, so we ate that while the cat Ramsey. Graham has a girlfriend and a cat. I too have a girlfriend, and I've got a drone, and I've gotta tell you, I think a drone wins. A cat needs a litter box, you gotta be there, there's commitment. With a drone, it's always there, and it's even a tax write-off. No doubt, I'm clearly winning on this one. And it keeps going because I have other recurring expenses that just get billed at random times throughout the month. First, we got my health insurance plan. That is $215 a month. Graham's health insurance is $215 per month. My health insurance is $118.88 per month. Then we also got car insurance at $125 a month, which works out to be $4.16 a day or $29.12 per week. Got to give it to you, Graham. $125 a month for car insurance is a pretty good rate. My car insurance is free. That's because when I rent cars, it's covered with my Chase credit card. 
then we got my gym membership at $220 a month. I get it, it's expensive. I pay for convenience because it's literally right next door to my office. But that comes at a cost of $7.33 a day, which works out to be $51.31 per week. Graham, $220 a month for insurance? Come on, bro, LA Fitness. 30 bucks a month, that's $190 savings. Now I get it that it's close and it's convenient and maybe it's worth it whenever you take into account the time and the value of your time to get there, but seriously, 30 bucks a month, huge savings. I love working out, but I haven't had a gym membership since I was in Armenia, but normally when I can find a gym membership and I'm on the road, it costs about $30 a month. And right now I'm getting close to 50, so I've been on the egg diet because I'm trying to get lean. I wanna have a six pack abs when I'm 50 and I think I'm gonna make it. And then we got my personal travel credit cards with annual fees on them. One, the American Express Platinum at $550 a year, which works out to be $10.57 per week. So the $550 a year I spend on that card usually ends up giving me back thousands of dollars in free travel and rewards. Then we have my Chase Sapphire Reserve at $450 a year or $8.65 per week. Now that cost is a little deceiving because that includes a $300 travel credit that you get every single year plus priority pass lounge access that's worth another $95 a year. And lastly, we have the infamous $10 million credit card, the JP Morgan Reserve, which is another $450 a year or $8.65 per week. Now this one is pretty much identical to the Chase Sapphire Reserve. I get the same $300 travel credit. I get the same priority pass lounge access worth $95. And in addition to that, I get United Club access. So the annual fee essentially pays for itself. But again, we're gonna be counting this as an expense just for purposes of this video. So that leaves us in total with $20 $7.87 per week in credit card annual fees. My only credit card fee is the Chase Business Inc., which is $95 a year, which works out to $1.83 per week. My actual normal weekly expenses is more like $475.27 for everything I mentioned, everything recurring behind the scenes, and everything I typically spend money on. And that is more in line with what I normally spend in a week as a 29-year-old living here in Los Angeles, California. Graham's total weekly expenses are $475.27 $75.27 per week, which is killing it for LA. Props off to you. By comparison, my weekly expenses for Sofia, Bulgaria are $411.50, and my girlfriend helps chip in on some of those costs. So that's $411.50 for two people. Sofia, Bulgaria has been one of our lower costs of living. So in fairness, let's take a look at some of the other places that I've lived and what it costs for two people to live. When we traveled South America on a motorcycle for five months, our total cost was $81.50 per day. And those costs even included a broken leg for my girlfriend. Now, a funny little side story. She ends up breaking her leg and the entire cost of the broken leg, the surgery, everything was covered with a $30 SOAP um, insurance that we bought at the border in Peru. That's gotta be the best $30 I've ever spent on insurance. We spent one month in Sicily, Italy, $78.74 per day, two people. One month in Crete, Greece, $77.94 per day. One month on the beautiful island of Madeira, Portugal was only $58.01 per day, and that even included a canyoning trip, had a blast. We spent 12 days in Morocco, and that was a blast, $71.65, and that included luxury camping in the desert, the blue city, all in all, man, Morocco, another great time. But I think that no matter how you slice the numbers, Graham and I are living much less expensively than most people expect millionaires to live. Go ahead and take a look at my expenses for Sofia, Bulgaria. All of the expenses are right there for you. And the final numbers are in. Graham Stefan versus Jerry Romine. Who won cheapest millionaire? You decide by casting your vote below.